Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. We're going to have to say goodbye to this mild weather soon. We are, yes. Uh, it's back to summertime as we take you on into next week. But boy, this morning was fantastic. This afternoon, Beautiful. just about perfect. Tomorrow's not going to be too bad either. Okay. But uh, temperatures will start creeping back ever so slowly by the weekend and especially into next week. Temperature outlook here for the last week of August. is going to be a hot one. Uh, in fact, high likelihood that we're going to be above average. Just how much? Well, check it out. This is what we're looking at right now. A week from now, this time next week, temperatures may be near 100 in parts of the Tennessee Valley. And we're talking 98 in Huntsville, Decatur, almost 100 out into the Shoals, maybe a little bit lower here in parts of northeastern Alabama and the higher terrain and also down in those mountain valleys. But uh, no matter how you slice it or dice it, it is going to be a return to summertime heat and rather quickly starting this weekend. Next day or so, still not too bad. Saturday, we're back to 90. Sunday will be a little bit hotter at 92. At this point, though, the weekend is looking quiet. Just we'll be feeling a bit more like August as we work our way on into Saturday and Sunday. We are dry right now as well. Way 31 triple Doppler clean sweep. Three live radars not finding any rainfall. But tomorrow likely will be a different story. We're going to get a little moisture that's going to move back into the picture and also a little weather disturbance moving through that could spark off a couple isolated showers. Let's kind of take you through that part of the forecast here with future radar overnight tonight. We will begin to see that cloud cover kind of filling back in in spots, mostly east of I-65. Some cloud patches first thing tomorrow morning, perhaps a little bit sunnier out toward the shoals. Uh, we'll see a mix of clouds and sun through the day tomorrow and then here we go. A couple isolated showers are possible. Lunchtime tomorrow, just a handful of those perhaps popping up. As so we take you into the afternoon hours, a few more may develop and track on through. But notice none of these are widespread. Uh, most of these showers are going to be fairly small and likely would be short-lived. So if you get rained on, it's not something that's going to last for a long period of time. Not expecting any threat for thunderstorm activity or certainly no severe weather potential out there. But again, a few raindrops will be likely. We head into tomorrow evening, losing the daytime heating, and any chance for rain will fade away with those falling temperatures. At the bus stop in the morning, a pleasant start off to school. Kids will be comfortable again. Not quite as cool as it was last night and first thing this morning, but still nice, 67 degrees. And coming home, again, there's that isolated shower chance. Otherwise, we will be warm, but still not excessively humid when temperatures running in the mid 80s. Here's a breakdown of your forecast hour by hour from the Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app. Uh, you can also check that out, see where the rain is popping tomorrow afternoon. Again, it will be limited and sparse in coverage, but a few showers are likely heading through the midday and afternoon hours. We'll spend most of the morning climbing through the 70s, and then for the afternoon, expect to top out somewhere in the middle to upper 80s between about 2 and 4 o'clock tomorrow before the temperatures start to ease back as we work our way on in to tomorrow evening. Highs tomorrow include 87 for Scottsboro and in Huntsville, 85 in Gunnersville, Coleman 86, 89 Decatur, a little bit hotter out in Muscle Shoals tomorrow. Temperatures will be running there right around that 90 degree mark, if not a degree or so higher. Wait 31 Storm Tracker 10 day looking like this. Your rain chance tomorrow is only 10%. So if you don't have the rain gear, likely will not be a big deal. Um, 89 on your Friday. Still not bad, but the 90s, they'll be back over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday into the low 90s. Morning lows, though, still will stay comfortable for several more days, running primarily in the 60s. We head into next week, and there you go, more August heat on the way. Just can't seem to get rid of it for good, and we often get fooled into thinking that fall is just around the corner when we get that first temperature drop, but uh, that will not be the case this go around. Upper 90s for your highs on Wednesday, Thursday, and then later next week some changes come. Next cold front brings in perhaps better rain chances, and we'll begin to see those temperatures ease back a bit heading into that Labor Day weekend. Hopefully we can stay away from triple digits. Yeah, we're going to be close, though, <laughs> I so know. we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. Jeff, thank you. Uh -huh.